everybody, and welcome to Top Comics to Pre-Order in a Flash. I'm Andy. I'm Matt. We're here with Infinity Flux Comics out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and this is our uh, really fast show, hence The Flash, uh, where we go over some of the biggest and most exciting books that you can pre-order. Uh, the pre-orders will be due this Sunday at 9, but we wanted to give you the biggest head start in your ordering uh, because this is a really good week for yep. books. So before we get too far into it, we do want to mention if you head over to our website, infinityflux.net, uh, you can use our promo code, I love flux, and you get 10% off your first order. Mm -hmm. So make it a big one, make it a good one. Absolutely. And use that code, get 10% off. Uh, but want to let you know that before you place your order so you don't miss out. And let's get into today's book, starting with... Batman and Robin, number one. So this is uh, the next upcoming Batman book under the Dawn of DC banner, written by Joshua Williamson. Uh, and this one sounds super fun because we haven't really... This this one features Batman and Damien as, as a duo, as Batman and Robin, which we haven't really gotten a lot of. We haven't really gotten a lot of them pairing up and, and being the dynamic duo. And that sounds like what we're getting here. Uh, in this one, they are going to team up to uh, take on... Uh, a lot of Batman's more monstrous rogues. Um, I think this is a gatefold cover, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And on the back, you can see some of them, like, uh, I want to say Clayface and Man uh, Bat, Man Bat, Bat one, yeah. Killer Croc. Yeah, so like more of his rogues that are kind of like big, like sort of monster guys are teaming, they're teaming up, and Batman and Robin are going to have to take them down. Uh, and there's also a new villain that watches from the shadows, intent on revenge, and plots to turn one of Batman's greatest assets against him. And next up, we have Predator versus Wolverine. I feel like this one kind of writes itself. It's yep. like, you Sold. don't need dialogue or anything. Yeah. <laughs> you just have these two go at it. But this is the untold tales of uh, Logan and the Predator's greatest battles that uh, are unseen. Like, uh, this has been going on in the background of Wolverine's life for a long oh, time. Okay. From the cold north of Canada to the streets of Madripoor. Uh, Wolverine and Predator have been hunting each other. Very cool. uh, who is going to come off the greatest victor and the apex hunter, and who is going to die a glorious death? Uh, we can, we mean, can guess, oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This could be an Elseworlds tale. Could be. Uh, so it's ultimate hunter versus hunter with Predator versus Wolverine. Very excited about this one. So the next one is a new book from Image called Hexagon Bridge. This is going to be a five-issue miniseries. And this one sounds really interesting. There are two explorers named Jacob and Elena. They find themselves trapped in this uh, strange uh, dimension full of elusive landscapes and shifting architecture. And also, it's inhabited by mischievous entities. And their daughter, their clairvoyant daughter, uh, Adley, and sentient robot Staden are going to have to go in and rescue them. Intriguing. Yeah. Uh, next up is Green Lantern number three. Now, the main reason we wanted to highlight this mm -hmm. uh, is to say that by this point, Night Terrors will be over and you will resume your regular scheduled comic programming. That's right. <laughs> uh, so if you were holding out, you said, I'm going to skip Night Terrors, uh, anything like that, uh, let you know that the main books are back and it's time to start your pre ordering again of the main titles. But either way, I uh, also want to talk about this Green Lantern issue, which sounds awesome, yeah. where uh, Hal discovers more about his new mysterious ring that just kind of appeared on him in the first issue, even though he doesn't have his actual ring. And he learns that he is on the same planet quarantined with Sinestro. So, going to be really cool. Very excited about this one. And very excited. I love Night Terrors, but for the main, the main runs of the books to be bad. Definitely. So next we have Uncanny Spider-Man. So Spider-Man doesn't have a tail. You say that's actually Nightcrawler. Uh, so after the events of the Hellfire Gala, Nightcrawler dedicates himself to the life of a crime fighter in New York, saving lives, fighting bad guys, that kind of stuff. Um, but he can't ignore the mutant plight forever. So how long is he going to be able to, you know, stay in this role before he has to go back to dealing with mutant issues? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. And next up, we have a new Bloodborne miniseries. These are super popular. I love the game. Uh, these capture the spirit of the game so well. This is a new one. Uh, Bloodborne Bleak Dominion. It's going to be a four-issue miniseries written by Cullen Bunn. And you've got awesome covers by uh, Della Dara from yeah. Something's Killing the Children. And in this one, it's about two hunters 
who uh, their protege goes missing, and they're going to have to traverse the um, the the horrors of Yarnum to find their lost protege. So sounds really cool. If you've never tried out a Bloodborne comic and you're like, oh, video game comics, try this one out. I'm sure you will like it. All right, so next is a the first issue in a new volume of Creep Show. So the first volume ran five or six issues, anthology book. Each book contained two different stories of just creepiness and, and terror and horror and that kind of thing. And now it's back um, in this one. Uh, the first issue, the first story is written by Garth Ennis with art by Becky Cloonan about a uh, it's it's a disturbing tale of the unborn and then the next one is written and drawn by phil hester about a grieving son who bends the laws of nature to see his mom one more time mm. and next up a new star wars uh i believe this is a mini series uh i i don't think it's a one shot and i don't think it's ongoing but this is a tie-in with the dark droid series this is d squad so as the uh, the Scourge virus infects all of the droids in the Star Wars universe. R2 is putting together a team of some of the uh, biggest guest stars of the droid world to stop it, including Chopper from Rebels. So very cool to see him in there. And this is going to have a backup story that is called the um, Book of Ajax, who is kind of your droid priest uh, that has this like church of sentient droids. Uh, and we're going to find out how his story from the Han Solo Chewbacca, the Revelations issue, and Dark Droids all ties together. So big issue to get if you're following Dark Droids. All right, so <laughs> next is a uh, verse of a four-issue miniseries called Fun Guy. Uh, not Fun Guy, but Fun Guy. Um, this is uh, set in a fantasy world inhabited by humanoid mushrooms, who have sort of molded their society in a similar fashion to feudal Japan or ancient China. And the story specifically follows a band of outcasts who journey across this epic landscape uh, on a heroic quest for forgiveness, revenge, and honor. Sure, it's not funky. Well, I mean, you get your fun guy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. And next up is a new uh, barbaric one shot. This is Barbaric Wrong Kind of Righteous. Uh, in set in the barbaric uh, universe, ever expanding, ever expanding barbaric universe. We're getting introduced to a new uh, talking weapon, much like Owen's axe. This is Flail. You can see him there on the cover, and a paladin uh, takes up arms alongside Owen the barbarian to uh, cut a, a bloody uh, channel through uh, enemies. Uh, but it's gonna be really fun to find out what's the personality of this flail uh, and all of that. Just a super fun fantasy book, so check that one out. And that is it for Top Kongs to pre-order a Flash. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have a longer show coming up on Friday where we will be going over all these books in much more depth, plus so many more, their covers, all of that. Uh, don't forget about our code that you can go to our website and use. That is I Love Flux. You'll get 10% off your first order. So until next time, thank you so much for watching <laughs> and...